I'm joined here by Simon Foote from Winchester. Simon, how long have you been in New Zealand for? Oh, so me and my friend Elliot have been over here since October last year. Well, I planned it a few years ago and it's just a case of waiting for the tour to come around. So we thought we'd come out here and earn the money instead of earn the money back home. So the tour planning has taken several years. When did the car come into the mix? Oh, we're not quite sure when the idea came, but as soon as we got the car, we started painting it and then it just sort of slowly progressed. We do a bit, every time we had a day off work, we'd do a bit more and every time we had the good weather, but yeah. And did you have any experience of painting cars previously or painting walls, anything, or was this your first oh, attempt? Just be pretty decent at finger painting as a kid. So yeah, started from there, I suppose. So you used to paint finger painting? Finger painting. And how did you come up with the name of the unofficial tour bus? Oh, I think we were always going to call it the tour bus, but we better put unofficial, don't want anyone getting confused, because. The paintwork is good quality, so. With the paintwork of that quality and the car looking that good, do you ever get mistaken for players as part of the entourage or anything like that? Oh yeah, we've, we've signed a few autographs in supermarkets, pretending to be people we're not, but we like the publicity, so it's all good. Can you just talk me through the power of this vehicle and how it's handling the roads here in New Zealand? Oh, it just chews up the case, to be fair. Um, it's never put a foot wrong, it really just does everything we ask of it, to be fair. And what's the longest journey you've done in it? Um, oh, we did a few. I'd say the longest was up to Whangarei, and then we went straight up the top to Cape Reinga. That was a big old day, a uh, day after the game, so yeah. How many guys do you normally have in this vehicle? Oh, it's usually just a three, but we have been cruising with four lately. Well, and what's the average weight of those guys? Oh, the top side of 100 kegs each, I'd say. And do you notice the difference when you're all in it? Oh, yeah, she definitely... She does have to work a bit harder, but it still never let us down. Obviously had some McDonald's en route. Yeah. We've stayed hydrated. Hydration so that's is good. key. Oh, what's in this one? That's uh, more mince pies and information from the people at T-Row. Just going through the boot, we've got every form of hat you can think of. Are you hat men? We are hat men. Reluctantly, we're all bold men, so. Bald men to stop the burning. Yep. Great. Who's this dude? This is Neil, the baby. Neil the baby, and who looks after him? He's my, my responsibility. Where does he come from? Uh, we bought him from Whangarei. He's a little token we have to take to the games with all of us. Phone, when do you use this? Uh, usually just waiting for the gats to call up, really. But again, this is Elliot's token that he's got to take to every game. A saucepan? Again, that's Benton's treasure to take to the game, so that's, that's probably the most travelled saucepan in the world. So you all have an item that you have to take yep. to the game and look after for yep. the evening. A phone, a saucepan, a doll and... Oh, I'm not sure Powell's got one, yeah? He, yeah. he had a sign for his mum. A sign for his mum. So that is the unofficial tour bus. Good luck with your travels and you are welcome to join us on the Vodafone Rugby Road Trip at any point. Just give us a call.